Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a special guest today. I'm so excited. Roquel yeah. is here. You guys may know him. Wait, say hi to the people first. Hi guys. I'm so <laughs> excited to be on Shayla's channel. Ah! I'm like one of her like biggest fans. I love her so much. I really am. No, truly, I really am. I really am. Oh, you're I like so always sweet. watch her updates and stuff. Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah, I was about to like go on this little rant about you. No, okay. I'm gonna talk about you first. <laughs> yeah, like I love your work. Um, you oh, know, I love so like sweet. skin and like you're just amazing at that. So oh. I'm obsessed with you. Thank you. We're over here drinking wine. Okay, might just, as well. Quarantine's kind of like going away. They just let LA open up a little today. So, right, so we're, we're pre-celebrating. Celebrating, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so all of you guys know who Roquel is. He does makeup for Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce is a queen, honey, but yes. you guys have seen him do, I feel like you've done like everyone's makeup. Demi Lovato, Cassie. Mm -hmm. We love Cassie. That's my That's little my Instagram twin. I call her Instagram twin. Um, but super talented and we're just gonna glam today and I'm just I just want to say I'm so proud of you Oh, babe. Thank you. I'm so proud of you because I remember like mm -hmm. when you were first Like starting to do makeup and just to see how far you've come. It's so inspiring and same for you I feel like oh, yeah, no, we, I'm, I'm so proud of everybody like we're all you know I feel Yeah, like when we kind of started I feel like makeup was not really having a moment Everybody's like I want to be natural. I want to be fresh. Yeah, and like now it's like makeup Especially influencers, you know, have given it such a platform yep. for everybody to be able to launch a brand and like just have their own voice in the beauty world. So I'm proud of everybody because we yeah. all add our own little like flavor and our own seasoning to what's happening. Oh, so. yes, seasoning. We love seasoning. Mm -hmm. And if you guys, I mean, you guys have probably seen me talk about Roquel's lashes. If you haven't, mm -hmm. if you haven't seen them, you need to check them out because amazing. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, <sighs> It's like, oh, he's so cute. I like I feel like it's just like melting in my mouth. Like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> like his lashes oh, I love you. are amazing. And I almost I was telling him before we started filming that I don't wear them as often as I want to because I'm afraid I'm gonna run out. Like that, oh, it's serious. It's I keep serious. telling her, like, girl, I would just send you a box full. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're just gonna jump into the video. Uh, we're gonna do some glam mm -hmm. and have some fun. Yeah, I want to kind of do like the moment that we did for the campaign. Because I feel Ooh, like you have that vibe for your going campaign, on there. Honey. Yeah, for my campaign for Aurora Lights, we just launched her, and then the little like little flavor of like the Grammys look that I just did with B. Oh, okay. Just to kind of you know like sprinkle some of that you know. Yeah, give me a Beyonce. new new. <laughs> <laughs> give me a Beyonce look. <laughs> yeah, so we're just gonna we'll go with that. So guys, I'm gonna start you. first with moisturizer. I love me some Tatcha water cream. Just so you guys, just so you guys know what just happened behind the scenes, um, <laughs> we had to move the desk. The okay? table. Yeah, I know. We were, I was all up on the camera. Like y'all could see like all my essences in there. <laughs> and I got up, and the whole my little seat because I'm sweating. No. It was moist. Okay, that's what happens when you got a big old booty. That's what happens, <laughs> and you think drinking wine. <laughs> but see, that comes in handy. At some point, we're not gonna talk about that right now. <laughs> but that there is a plus to that. Mm, y'all. <laughs> That's know. what you keep your man, boo. Right. Mm. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna put some moisturizer <laughs> on. I like to put it on with the brush first, and then I'll like work it in. So we moisturized. Now I'm gonna start with her brows, but first I'm gonna like prime the lid and then like that brow area situation. So I grabbed a little bit of the Morphe. Twenty. Is that twenty six or twenty seven? Mm -hmm. Rich twenty six. Rich twenty six. And then I'm gonna mix a little bit of this Mac. Uh, like it was like a neutralizer palette. It's okay. You can just put it on. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm gonna be specific. Oh, uh, you gotta be specific. People know this Mac. Did you used to work at Mac ever? Uh huh. You did, huh? I started at the Mac counter. I know. We all, I, all I, the good I, ones started there. Child, but I didn't last no more than six months. Oh. <gasps> Cause them girls were shady as hell. Oh my god. And I was already kind of working in the industry. Oh yeah. So they were like not a big fan of the fact that I was like trying Instagram, to Instagram. Like, wait, did, was your Instagram popular? No, I wasn't even. There was no Instagram at the moment yet. This oh. was like 2007. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so we, I almost had a heart attack right now because <laughs> Shayla's dog made an appearance. Nobody did. So I, brought, I just brought Storm in here because she's going crazy. And... I don't want to die. Yeah, and he's just standing there like... <laughs> like, I'm so afraid Yo, right I now. thought my booty cheek was about to get taken off. <laughs> you you were like, I'm not even going to face know. this chick. Like, that was Well, because I was just telling Shayla, I have a dog. So, you know, sometimes like... I thought, dogs... that's why I thought you liked dogs. No, but sometimes other dogs smell other dogs on you. Mm -hmm. And then she was a little like observant. She was like... I think she was waiting for you to pet her, I think. Oh, I would have loved to pet her. And you were like... Well, then now that I know she's not And you were like this. You were like... <laughs> yeah. Wait, so what is this? Okay, so now I'm setting. Oh, it's um, I'm just using some losing uh, some translucent uh, setting powder. 
You know, I see people do this and I don't do this. I don't use a You know why I like to do it? It's only because um, when you're gonna come in with eyeshadows and like other powders, if it's mm -hmm. too wet, am I grabbing one area like too much? <gasps> so Is that why my shit sometimes isn't unbl is, is unblended? No, 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 no. I've never seen your eyeshadow unblended. I mean, you might have I... to work extra hard though to like blend it. But this is like one way of like setting it. So, cause if it's moist in one area, like one shadow is gonna grab more. Yeah. Of you know what? I see people do this and I'm like, I, I thought it like sheared down the powder, but. No, that's the only reason why. Sometimes I use a press or a um, loose, it just depends. I was today but... years old. <laughs> I was today years old. I'm gonna start doing that then. So we set her into place. Mm. Now, um, I'm just gonna pop a little highlight in the tear duct. Ooh, you do that first? Yeah, cause I feel like that kind of starts to set like. I'm in the frame. Oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, I literally You're like at the door. And I'm like, <laughs> I was like gone. I was at the house. I was back home already. <laughs> you know, um, one time you did Desi's makeup for a key campaign. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, who did your makeup? Oh my I God, mean, that was a while back too. But I think that was the first time like I saw her. Well, that was the first time I felt like she looked like different, but in a very good way. Mm -hmm. You know, I was like. Someone different did your makeup. Well, I like, love Desi because Desi gives you like a little bit of like a J Lo vibe. Yeah, yeah. And that's like my style. Like I like matte makeup, but then I really you love that glowing. glow. I love glowing makeup. Yeah. So it's like I have to find myself sometimes to get like the matte vibe going. Mm -hmm. And I'm you? like on myself, I always do like a matte look and then add shine. But I feel like now I'm more into like a a glow. So now I'm gonna start highlighting her brow bone. Wait. So how much time do you have to do like? people's makeup, like celebrities makeup? I mean, it depends. I mean, I've had to do makeup in like 15 minutes and then I've had to do makeup in like three hours. It just depends on like who, on what they're doing, like, what they're going. Like if you had like a, if you had a huge celebrity, you know, queen that you work with, um, how much time, <laughs> how much time would you have to do, to do makeup? It depends. Like, I mean, the most I've had, like, you know, like for a good carbon moment is like- Three yeah, hours. Yeah, three, four oh, hours. Four? Yeah, but between that, you're taking breaks, like they're trying on, you know, but, but, yeah, yeah, hair situations are being changed around, like outfits are being changed. But sometimes if it's like, I'm just gonna go to dinner, like, you know, I'm like, okay, 30, 40 minutes. Oh, nice. Yeah, because you don't wanna be overly beat for your man, honey. I do. Oh. <laughs> well, I was talking to the wrong crowd. <laughs> like, I'm like, hmm, I'm gonna have a whole beat face for dinner, okay? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do uh, her cut crease, and I'm gonna start with a little bit of this KKW Beauty. Um, Show the peoples. The Matte Mob. Look I love these higher. colors. These are like bomb. Ooh. I know they're gonna get me. <laughs> Let me just go with the pro. She don't tell me how to do it. So yeah, I'm gonna use these two colors right here. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. So basically, this I don't even know what brush this is. Oh, a Coween <laughs> 11. Yeah, just, it's a flat brush, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> a flat with like a little fluff to it. Cause I know sometimes people use like really like um, precise, like um, like blunt brushes. But. Ooh. So you're like drawing a line in the crease. You guys can see he did this side off camera. Oh. Yeah, so you see like it kind of just starts to like. Oh my gosh. Get the crease a little. I've never seen this. I've never, well, maybe I haven't paid attention. I don't get my makeup done that much, but yeah, this is new. I'm what absorbing like this. I'm absorbing this. What I, what I like about it is just because the back of the brush is blending. If it was too blunt, then you're just going to make the line and then you have to go back and blend it because there's a little bit of like fluffiness to it. Yeah. You're basically blending the out part of it as you yeah. curve it, you know? Ooh. Wait, so how did you start with Beyonce? Because that's what people want to know. <laughs> well, um, long story short, um, Lala, who's one of my best friends. Oh, yes. We love her. Yeah. She um, introduced me to Kelly. And then one day, Kelly was like, can you do my mom? And I thought she was talking about her real mom, but she was actually talking about Miss Tina. And then, uh, and I've told this story many times, but mm -hmm. not on Shayla's channel. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, so then I did Miss Tina. And then Miss Tina loved her makeup. And then she, she introduced me to B. And then I, I did her for like the VMA rehearsals. And then, you know, ever since then, um, started working with B. Little by little, like, you know, it's like. What was that like when, when you got that call? Um, Were it, you so nervous? It literally blew my mind because I just was not expecting. I feel like sometimes we always think that we're not ready for things or we're like, oh, mm -hmm. I want to be a little bit more prepared. I want to like, I don't know, like just perfect my craft. But the beauty about working with her is that like she, I feel like she's really good at discovering talent and different people. And like sometimes she doesn't really look for you to be like there already. Like she, yeah. you know, she can kind of tell like if you're 
on your way or some yeah. kind of thing. So, you know, she brings it out of you because she's a, I mean, she's so like smart and she knows so much that you can never stop learning when you're around her. Yeah. Wow. So, um, over time, you know, like it's like, it's been every time I'm with her, I learned something new. Whether it's like life or it's that Virgo stuff. Mm hmm. All right. So now we're going to start like connecting it. So, cause I really want to do like a pulled out snatch. So I dragged it all the way out here just to kind of give me like a little like placement of how big I want to create the eye. Ew. And now I'm using that same fluffy brush. I don't know if you guys can see, but it has like a little bit of a. <laughs> Ooh, look at you, little like YouTuber. my YouTube ish situation. So, so it's basically 217. like a 217, but the difference is that it has like a point. So it like yeah. it has angle. So it kind of creates. It's like. More like a cat eye moment. It's the shape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what, the reason why I love it is because now, as you guys can see, I'm going to start like dragging all this shadow out right here, mm. like top of the lash line, and then I'm just going to connect those two together. And then that little like, end, the little pointy end, I'm just going to use that to kind of drag the shadow and give me like a nice like snatch, almost like a cat eye-ish moment. Ooh. And then I might just grab like a wipe and like cut it a little bit more just to Ooh. like lift it. But yeah, I'm basically just building like the shape, cutting it all out. I can't wait to watch this when I'm editing it. <laughs> Because <laughs> right now I'm like, oh, I want to see. <laughs> yeah, it's like just to kind of create the little cat eye shape. It's so funny because when someone's doing your makeup and they're doing a good job, it's like you can feel it. All right, so now I'm just going to like slightly carve her crease. Not not a lot, just a little bit. So I'm using a little bit of this like rosy, <laughs> like a rosy-ish like kind of color. And then I'm using this brush. It's kind of like really wide. I don't know if you can see yeah. it, but it's like really good for cutting the crease. I don't oh. even know what the name is. Oh, it's Monda it? something. So Mm-hmm. Okay, flat. You like flat brushes. For cutting, yeah. For like carving and stuff like that, I do. Let me, let me. And now I'm just gonna like dip into that color. Let me expose my ears. And I'm not gonna super, super flat cut it. It's just so that I have a little dimension in there. But you guys can see when I like lay down the powder, you can start to see a little bit of that crease pop up. So you don't ever cut with a concealer, like all the Instagram hoes be doing? No, I mean, I do. It just depends on like what the colors are because there's not a concealer that's like this kind of coloring. Mm-hmm. But yeah, sometimes I do. It's just easier like with powder to me if like if the formula is really good and it's gonna like pack in there and give a payoff. Mm. Cause you know, sometimes they don't, they're just like a little too. I, I said Instagram hose, but really I was talking about me, so. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you use concealer? Mm, yeah. Stop. <laughs> That's what all, the, all of us do, okay. All right, y'all. So we did the crease moment. Now I'm gonna lay down a little bit of like the rose goldy color. It's a makeup by Mario. Yeah, makeup by Mario and this um the activator. What is it called? Yeah, activator. Oh, the yeah, manipulator. It's actually a manipulator. <laughs> she manipulates actually. people. Yeah, that one. Okay. I like that actually. I need to use it more. So I'm just gonna strategically place it like right here. Ooh. So you're kind of putting it like on the top of the lid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like right up to where that crease was. So now that we did the crease and the like shimmering moment, I'm gonna put some mascara on. Ooh. <laughs> now, who is this? This is yours, right? No. Oh, which one's yours? I don't know who that is. No, I'm saying. <laughs> All right, so we put some mascara. Shayla already curled her lashes prior to me doing this. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara on her baby lashes. <laughs> Not my baby lashes. <laughs> my little itty bitty baby lashes. I talk about that all the time. I'm like, what the heck happened? Okay. Like, I just need the, I, I don't even care about the volume. Like, it's I just wanted length. the length. Like, what the heck? But then I also love wearing false lashes. Yeah, I was gonna say. Like, I love. Yeah, if, if you're, um, if the lashes are, you know, like, being pulled, <laughs> then you're not gonna be there. If your lashes are being pulled every day, you're probably not gonna have lashes. Yeah, let me start brows next. Okay. I don't ever have, like, a specific system that I go in. I just, like, go, like, okay, what do I feel like doing? So, when you do, say, like, you have the same client you're doing all the time. You don't do it in the exact same order every single time. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. I know sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing. Because the, the good thing about the... Oh. <laughs> sometimes it's a good thing and sometimes it's a bad thing. The, the reason why sometimes it's bad for me is because it doesn't give me, like, when I'm in a rush, I don't have, like, my system set yeah. up. But um, then I just don't... I don't like to do the same thing on everybody every, every single time. I don't know. That's crazy. I, I don't know. I feel like... Some some artists like they just perfected their craft so they have like that system mm -hmm. and then you're known for that. I don't know if I've gotten there yet. Like I st even though I know I've been doing it for so long, you're more like okay, let me feel my mood. Like I'm in the mood to do this first. Yeah, like I don't know. I'm always like trying to like figure out because I love trying out new ways to do brows. Sometimes I'll do try the soap brows. Sometimes I'll try this. I'll try that. Mm -hmm. So maybe you know, I need to do that too. But you know what they see like that's what makes you a master of a craft is how many hours that you put into that. So that's why I'm like now I'm like mm, this year I literally literally this year 
I was like, okay, I need to like pick stick to one thing that I really like that I feel like I've done good and just do that over and over and over mm -hmm. until I've mastered it. All right, y'all. So now we finished the brows. I'm gonna put a little bit of brow gel in there. This is just like a honey colored like brow gel, and I just wanna tie in like the color of her hair. Ooh. And I'm gonna focus it honestly just mainly like right in the in the inside of the brow, like right here. So um, we finished part of the shadow. I'm probably gonna come back and still do like some stuff after, but I, I always like to at least set the groundwork and then I'll do the skin and then I decide like, oh, I wanna bump up more here, or, you know, just, you know, play with it. But so what I'm gonna do first to get into skin, cause we already did the brows, is I'm putting a little oil underneath her eyes. I feel like this is going to be like a game changer for me because I've never seen anyone do this before. Mm -hmm. And I have that problem where I put powder on my eye and I get like a dark spot. Have you seen that before? Where mm. it's like because it's dry, like you have like a little dark it's spot right dense. there. Yeah. Do you think it's because of the powder? Yeah. I think it's because it's like my skin's dry as fuck. <laughs> like it's dry. And so I have to put a bunch of setting spray so it doesn't look that dry, but it'll like catch. Yeah, no, this is like a good way of like really hydrating that skin. And this is Diana Madison's. Mm -hmm. I like it because it's it's a very thin, thin oil. Like if you have a, if you're using like more of like, look. right? The glowing. I like love, like I love like oil on my face with, Me too. with no makeup on. When you have skin like this, honey, that's, you have to do it. Drink water. So I think first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with some foundation. Yeah. Oh, actually I, I'm getting ahead of myself, y'all. Before I do that, let me do, I'm gonna, I like to like start with the glow on the body. Cause sometimes when you're using bronzers, like they might be a little bit more olive or they might be a little bit more orange. So this is a good way of like, like figuring out what foundation to do. So you're not like doing all this face and then you put bronze and you're like, wait, it's like two different colors, you know? All right, so I'm gonna give it like the little red carpet glow. Yeah, so I'm gonna use this uh, Copacabana or yeah, Copacabana bronze from Glow Motions. It smells so freaking good. Can we smell I, this? Yeah, I have that stuff. The perfume smells bomb. Mm -hmm. The right. lotion too. So I'm basically just gonna like drop it on the high points and then I'm gonna start blending it out. Like you gotta like layer them. Cause I usually use like one like universal color everywhere and then I'll start to get lighter as I get into like the high points. Yeah. So it really gives you that pop and then I'll use a little bit of powder just to set them. If there was like one celebrity like you could work with that like you wanna cross off the list, who would it be? You gotta put it out there. Oh my God, stop right now. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta speak it into existence. Shayla is over here. She's just like my little, like, she's like, I'm gonna push you over the cliff. Yeah, you don't, you don't like, make this happen. I have a couple. I mean, some of them are not alive. Um, like, I would have well, loved to. No, we need to talk about people who are alive, okay? Okay. <laughs> no, like, one of them, I definitely would have loved to do Marilyn Monroe. And then um, Selena, for sure. You're not. Uh, Marilyn, come on now. <laughs> yeah, Marilyn like, Monroe. Mm -hmm. That was like 50 years ago. That would have just never happened. It could have, it could never happen. I know, but if I could. But it couldn't. But if I don't it even could, think it would be them too. <laughs> and if with the people that are alive, um Yeah, alive. I do have I have Thalia. I love what I've loved to Ooh, do Thalia. Oh, I know who that is. Thalia or J Lo. Yes, J Lo. Or um I'm yeah. actually surprised you haven't worked with J Lo because I feel like that's just like a match made in heaven. Really? I think so, yeah. I feel like because you're very like glowy and she's like <laughs> glowy. Who else? Um, I don't know what, babe. Honestly, I feel like I've gotten like to work with some of the most amazing people that I'm so happy with where, where I'm at. What is this foundation? 26, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. 26? Okay. Or 20, yeah, I don't know. Maybe 27. Yeah, I'm trying to think of who else it's If that's far. too light, you just, you know, add darker ones. I'm going to make some too anyways. Is that light too? What number is that? Oh, okay, okay. No, I think I'm going to use this like in the middle and or the inner part and then just use some in the outer part. Okay. Yeah, no, I feel like I'm good with like where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're doing the queen, honey. <laughs> to be honest with y'all, you are doing the I, queen. My life is set. Like I mm -hmm. need it. Like you feel complete. I do. I'm proud of myself. You know, I feel like I got to, like my mama got to see. You know where mm -hmm. I made it to be, and you know, so that's why I'm like I'm good. I'm yeah. set up. Now my next streams are just to like really take my brand for lashes like where I want it to go. Yeah. And like really continue to like put out because I have so many products I want to put out. Like the lashes are so innovative. Yeah. But um. Yeah, just focusing on that, like seeing it in retail. All right, so now I'm gonna contour you a little bit. And I'm so. using the Bobbi Brown palette. Y'all can tell the range that I usually stay in is like right here. <laughs> <laughs> this is like never been touched. <laughs> That's funny. So now I'm gonna pick up the color chestnut. Ooh, we love chestnut. And I'm grabbing this like angled brush. I'm just gonna start contouring. I'm starting the hairline first. I'm gonna start on the unit line. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> It's so unclockable though. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. 
good. I love this color on you though. It's like it makes the color ever like your skin just like pop more. Thank you. You and know all the honey undertone. Ooh, thanks. So my girl Kiva, she like custom colors all my units. She's so good. Like yeah, I just know one day someone's gonna snatch her up. You know what's interesting with with light color? So I like light, and then after about a week and a half, I'm like get it off of me. Like it's weird. Yeah. Like, I don't think I could have light hair all year round. Yeah. Like, I can do it for a couple weeks, and then I'm like, okay, we need to go back to black. I also think, too, because you film, and then you do your makeup, and certain hair colors work with certain, like, eyeshadow moments. Right. Or, like, lip moments. So, it's like, you're like, oh, I want to try something, and yeah, you're right. The hair color will, like, clash. Yeah. So, like, whenever I have this hair color, I like to do... I think my ears look kind of <laughs> crazy right now. A lot of bundles behind the mirrors <laughs> but like i like to do like a lot of peachy tones when i have light because i feel like it just looks the best mm -hmm. um and then when i have black hair like a pink blush with black hair oh, i just love it but a peach blush with white hair woo! in this area i don't really like to make too many lines because i feel like you're gonna blend it out anyways mm -hmm. so it's like you just might as well just start like sh shaping her in there by the way now i'm just like contouring a little bit of her decolletage you know just Ooh. to like Make everything pop. And you said it right. Hmm. Yeah, you know. Just I just feel like with the colors, like you just have to want to tighten a little Ooh, bit. Oh yeah, I like I like this like I have an eight look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I have had Chick-fil-A a little bit mm -hmm. in three months. That's my that's like my weakness right there, Chick-fil-A. Ooh. Really? I love like when I wanna like have a okay, I'm gonna have a cheat meal or I'm just gonna eat something that's like out of the normal, I'll have Chick-fil-A. Yeah, Chick-fil-A. But did you have you tried McDonald's new um I'm not going to say I tried it, but I may have. The new chicken sandwich, the spicy. Mm -hmm. I don't see, that's where for me, I can, I do nuggets. No, but when you I know. The bread, they they I'm came like, for, did they? They came for Popeye. Like, they, what? you could tell they were like, we need to do, um. I don't eat at McDonald's. They wanted like a Popeye's moment. That's what they were doing. Really? Going for, yeah. I don't trust McDonald's. Ooh, this is, this is a part. Well, no, when I tell you, by the way, I'm just, to find out, finish off the sandwich situation, it's bomb. Is it? Yeah, well, we'll leave it there. <laughs> Y'all gotta try it. It was I'm like, what so... brush is this? No, I'm looking at oh. the brush. Because I see this little... <laughs> this might be... Um, here, I have another one that's like that. I think that's like a... You love these like angled... I do. I do. Because it just makes everything like... Brushes. Do you guys see this? Look my nose. Let me see if there's another one. You don't one. even need to blend it. I just leave it like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start to like... Just kind of like lightly shape the lip. And like give it like a little pout. With the contour? Mm-hmm. Ooh. This is like a pre-lip liner to the lip liner. I've never been this focused in my life. It's almost like if you think about it, it's almost like the contour here, you blend it and then yeah. you come back with powder to reinforce it. It's kind of like the same thing. Like you're going to see such a faint line. Mm -hmm. All right. So now I'm dipping into this um, MAC neutralizer. I used to have that back in the day. And then, I don't know. I love it. It just is like so good to like really like highlight. Ooh. I'm going to start to like. Brighten a little bit. And that's my... I'm, I'm gonna start watching. You're gonna see me when I do my makeup now. I'm gonna be doing all this. Cause I try it, like I put a lot of concealer on my mouth cause I have like darkness there. But I think the color I'm using maybe isn't. Oh, well I just don't do all this. I do like a Yeah, cause this isn't bit. like a, a, it's like a weird concealer color. It's not even like a highlighter. It's more of like a, cause it has a little bit of orange and yellow. Yeah. So it's basically like if you were to mix your foundation with the neutralizer and everything together, Ooh. but it's already there for you. Okay, so I do that with concealer, like I'll do, okay, so, but I don't use, I use a sponge, I don't use a brush like this. You see, but it's like extra snatch. Yeah, that's what I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> and what then, are the kids doing nowadays, like? And then from here, <laughs> stop, we're not that old. We are not that old. No, we are not that old. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm just going to come and blend in like only certain things. So the same sponge you use with the oil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, it's like so, like mixing it in there. Ooh, I'm taking all this in, okay. Yeah, so this is just good so that when you bake it, it's just nice and like hydrated in a way. It's not water, because water will like the, the powder will just soak it up. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come underneath here. I'm just gonna do a little bit of that. Ooh. I'm just gonna like. Oh, you went higher than I usually go. Mm hmm. For this area, I don't like to like go in circles so much. I just kind of like stipple it, because then um, it's just like moving the product. but. I've noticed like if I go like this, yeah, you end up like moving it all over the place. But like this, way you're just like sibling, so it's just like grabbing and like putting it back, mm -hmm. and just like diffusing the the little line. Like I feel like I look like. <laughs> <laughs> but your face is snatched. You got like Thank such you. great like cheekbones. See, like turn, watch, bam. See? <laughs> 
So now I'm grabbing the first two colors. Again, I'm just gonna highlight her nose. So I kind of started up here, just picking up product, and I'm gonna drag it like a super straight line coming down the middle. Just gonna keep it like, oop. Oop. Oop, come on, snatch. Oop. Oh, I feel it. You like these little mini blenders. I do, because I feel like it gives me more control. Do you like the little ones? I've never used the little ones. Are those beauty blender mm -hmm. minis? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. I've never, like... They like the baby ones. Literally never use that. Because you like to get, like, the little detail, like, precise, like, areas. Mm-hmm. She just gets in there, honey. Mm-hmm. This is what I need to do when I'm like, okay, I have time to do, like, really beat my face. Like the little details? Yeah, like these little details. Well, Shayla was telling me she does her face in 45 minutes. I'm like, damn, I wish I could, like have a face down pack like that. So when I'm doing like my natural look, like my natural everyday look, I get 20 minutes. Mm. Yep, contour, highlight, bronzer, blush. Wow. And I'll just put like bronzer in the crease. You know, like that when I want to do like that quick. Like easy beat. Mm -hmm. And then lashes, yeah. All right, so now we're gonna put a little bit of this Dose of Colors Concealer in number 20. Just gonna pop it like right in here. I like this one. What color do you use? I don't know. I don't remember. I haven't used it in like a few months. Does Whenever it, like a new concealer comes out, like I'll try, try it out. and then I'll... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like it because I feel like the formula is like really thin, but it gives good coverage. I just realized you have a nose piercing. I've been doing your makeup like this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was talking to someone about that yesterday. You can't even see it. Well, it's, it's so weird. A lot of people will comment on it like, I didn't know you had your nose pierced and I've been, you know, following you for years. Also, I take all my photos on this side. Oh, that's why. Mm -hmm. I got it pierced like such a long time ago, mm -hmm. but all I got left was a scar. Aww. <laughs> you know, this is like making me want to do my makeup tomorrow and like try some of the things that you've done. Like just techniques? Yeah, like... The oil? Yeah, I'm super motivated to do my makeup tomorrow. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, I hope everybody out there does the same thing. Mm -hmm. I'm putting like a little taupe and I'm just like bringing it in. I'm not adding like a little extra contour in there. Mm -hmm. And I'm only going to put it just like right there. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, so I'm going to start first from over here. I'm just going to work my way in. I need this little baby, uh, you need to make a baby sponge. I have another thing that I want to do for a baking, but it's not a baby sponge. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, don't say nothing. Alright, now, I'm going to grab a little bit. Like, I feel like I got a face lift right now. Why? In a good way. Because I just feel really, like, snatched. Like, pulled it. Alright, now I can dust off the other side. I feel like... Like do you ever face tape your face? I don't no. think you need it though, but um, I love it for shoots. Sometimes when you're doing yeah. like something like real cool. Yeah, so now we're gonna do the side. I don't like to leave it on for too long because I'm gonna come back anyways with like the pressed. It's just yeah. mainly more just to set the area and like, you know, give it like a moment. Mm -hmm. Actually, let me bake the top of your nose. It's gonna come up right in there so it's like super thin. Not that you can't have like a, a bridge, but I kinda wanna make it go away. <laughs> <laughs> And also too, with when you're working with this, like I don't know, some people use like I don't know about you, babe, but some people use like some really rough brushes. Do you feel how soft it is? This is like a fan brush. Yeah. But literally, like it's just gonna delicately what? like get in the creases and move it. Like I don't like to use something that's like I don't know about other people, but I just don't like oh, a super shit. like. I'm over here like judging myself like oh shit. Have you been doing that? <laughs> I use like a I don't think it's super rough, but it's like I don't know. It's rough. I'm like. Uh, I mean, it's like a, it looks like a blush brush, kind of. Like, it's not this small. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so now from here, we can start bronzing. and This makeup's like... making me feel skinty. Really? You are skinty. It makes me feel like... <laughs> you haven't ate all day? Yep. You haven't ate for, like, the last I love that. two months? Yeah. All right, now we've, like, blended out the contour and the highlight and the bake. Oh, she snatched. Right, that's how I'm like... Can you still breathe? <laughs> <laughs> So you put a little bit more powder under my eyes just to catch the, the shadow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's very standard. Now I'm just going to come down here. That's very like, standard. Yeah, you know, it just helps you like your makeup look fresh. And you know, like, why do I have bags when I didn't have those up here? And my concealer work. <laughs> I'm going to just put some bottom mascara in the bottom. This is like a makeup artist's favorite for the bottom. The for mascara? That. Oh mm. my god, I know. It's filled with the brush. All right, let's do a pop and then a tear duct. Let's pop it. Pop it. Wait, before I keep going, because I'll, I'll forget. So I'm popping the inner tear duct Ooh. with a little bit of this NARS um, Light It Up. Yeah, it's called Light It Up. She's a NARS palette, y'all. So we're wrapping it up and we're lighting it up. Mm -hmm. Wow, my nose is like, uh, is it there? Like, can't no, wait. Breathe. Wait till we put some glow on that like brings it in even more. Oh my God, I cannot wait. All right, y'all. So now we're going to do blush. So I'm going to mix these two. 
This is more of like a corally-ish orange. It's like a Sephora. Yeah. Taj Mahal knockoff. And then, <laughs> and then this is La Femme. This is like an old school makeup brand, but it has like a little bit of like a rusty-ish color. Ooh, yeah. So mixed together, it's going to look like a bronzy small. Yeah, it's going to be a little challenge for Shima because <laughs> she's our RVF. But I'm basically just going to work it on the cheeks a little. Ooh. I feel like I look like 10 pounds lighter. You were so silly. All right, so I'm just gonna do the glow on her nose. So I'm gonna like lightly hit it right there. You like lightly hit it, like light. Yeah, like it's like barely touching her. So when you do like, okay, say like you're doing Beyonce's makeup and she comes off stage, like how much time do you have in between her coming off stage and then going back on to like touch up? Um, The longest is probably like a minute or two. Mm -hmm. So you're like this, like waiting for her and then you're like, <sighs> In the middle of changing. That is crazy. Oh yeah, but we, we figured it out. We got it down pat. All right, so now we're gonna grab espresso Just and basically, yeah, I'm grabbing like a little bit of like an angled taper brush, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna come back and kind of like lightly reinforce the lips. And then kind of gives that. And that's from here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab a little like lighter concealer and kind of like lightly start to carve it out. Mm-hmm. And then what I'm just gonna do is draw a little line down here. So now let's do a little lipstick situation. Where is she at? Oh, so we're gonna do a little bit of this NARS blush, Mauritane. Definitely don't know what that is. <laughs> so first we're gonna pack that in the middle. Oh! Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm gonna layer this and then I can come and decide if I'm gonna make it lighter or like more peachy or... Whoa. But I feel like I might just end up keeping it right there. All right, y'all, so now I'm just gonna set everything a little. And we're using the Rare Beauty Mist. So now, okay. we're, so we're gonna use, this is a new, put it, yeah, let the people see it, put it in the center, there you go. Can y'all see? Is it focus? Yeah. Let's see, zoom it in with the glare, oh, there's see. like a glare in there. Yeah, so that's Aurora's, and then we have the clusters, which is like the, the individual version of that. It's like, here, it doesn't it right. work. <laughs> put it right here. I'm gonna let you do it. <laughs> oh, that's better. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> I am so bad at this. Okay. I've never seen clusters like this. You guys, yeah, these, these are, are like patent innovative. Pending. We have some other versions of it coming out. And then we have moon bows. And moon bows I sent to Shayla a while back. I yes. just wanted to like just play with them a little, you know? Well, he, okay, so he sent these to me and there was no name on it. And I, and I sent him a message. I said, what? What lashes are these? Like, what is this? There's no name. Like, I need to know. <laughs> and I haven't worn them since because, again, I'm afraid I'm going to run out. Well, because I'm the kind of person that I like to, like, send stuff out to make sure I get, like, a pro, like, approval and, like, you know. Mm -hmm. And Shayla so knows the lash. Oh, my God. Yeah. I was like, what are these? I might throw in some clusters just to, like, make it a little extra oomph and glam. That's the thing about Aurora is, like, you can really, like, either leave it as it is or just, like, bump it up. Yes. All right. So we're going to glue her in. Do you like more wispy or do you like more snatched for lashes? I thought wispy was snatched. Mm -mm. Snatched is what this? Like wispy gives you more like a doughy eye. Oh, I mean, I wear wispies all the time. Like everything's wispy. Mm -hmm. Come on, snatch. So these are the individuals. Yeah. So these are like little cat eye clusters. And I usually like to put them in between the gaps. Ooh. Yeah, so. Come on, you see this. Yeah, and you can do this literally with any strip. Oh yeah, you see a difference. Yeah, this is a way of custom. Some people literally can wear rose just without like anything, and then some people just gotta like just make it a little bit more. Because it is a different like eye shape. It's more like the typical like doughy eye moment, you know? Do you have a favorite person you've done makeup? You're like, oh I just love doing their face. Cassie. That's my sis. Mm -hmm. That's my sis. <laughs> I love Cass, yeah. I feel like she has like such an easy face. You like how I asked you a question and answered it for you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you already knew. Ooh! <laughs> So I'm back here, I can't really see, you know, too good. But when I come up here, I'm like, who is she? Come on, Snatch and Glow. But you still look like you, and that's what I wanted, you yeah. know? Yeah, I, I look I like the best like... version of me. Yeah, we gotta keep it, keep it like consistent. Oh my God. No, it's right. an eyeshadow for me. It's really the eyeshadow, it's so blended. And then the, I mean, I'm here for like the no snatch mm -hmm. and the lash moment. That's what it is. All right, so now I'm using this Sephora gloss. It's like a honey like kind of color. I like it because it has like all the undertones that we've been using. 
Yep, there you go. This is the look. Mm. 17 hours later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, here is the finished look. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Yay. I absolutely love it. And wait, what lashes are we using again? So these are Aurora's with the Aurora lights mixed in. These ones, right? Mm -hmm. These with individuals, you guys. You guys can get this. Is it RoquelBeauty.com? Mm -hmm. You guys, these lashes, I'm telling you, like, all of his lashes are bomb. Mm -hmm. <sighs> My makeup looks bomb. Like, I feel like this is, like, one of the best looks. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I look my best. Aww. And I wouldn't, there's nothing about this that I would change. Like, <gasps> That's such a compliment. Yeah, there's nothing that I'm like, because the one thing that I think people have trouble with with my makeup is the lip. You know, and I feel like you oh, nailed really? it. Yeah, you, like... But your lip shape is so great. I just love to make them like juicy and, and plump. It is so cute. Okay. <laughs> I am a, like, I'm going to be just looking in the mirror all night because I'm obsessed. You guys have to check out mm -hmm. Roquel's Instagram page. Just check him out. Check out the lashes. You're going to be obsessed. Obsessed. Is there anything else you want to add to them? No. Add to it. No, I think we're good. Yeah, I'm just like so happy that you brought me on your channel. Yeah, I love you so much. Thank you for coming. Like, yeah, this is. Fun. I feel like we should do some more moments, but like not lash related. More like. When is there like, like a moment that's moment. not lash? Related. Right, that's true. But I feel like we gotta do like something that's like you know different. Different, okay? Because yeah. you know I'm all into this like pretty glam. Yeah, but we'll me do too. something like edgy or something. Yeah, like, like, I know because I know girls are like we see that all the time. We want something different. No, I think this is what they want to see, honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to give you what you need, boo. That's what they want to see. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so yeah. much for watching. Really appreciate it. This was so much fun. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this look. And last but not least, I say strut and slay all the time. You want to say it together? What is it? Strut and slay. Strut, strut and, and slay. slay. Yeah, I'm trying to loosen you up here. <laughs> <laughs> you know so, I used to wear myth. So did I, huh? Cha, I And just... snob. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's cheers real quick. Cheers. Listen. Before I actually started using, because you know before, the, back in the day, I never used lip liner. There was a time in makeup, what, I know, there was a time in makeup, and I'm sure you guys remember, when it was like peach stock, and then that was it. Oh yeah, or myth. And yes, just, like, that was it. Concealed the lips. Exactly. <laughs> what is it? it wasn't recording. <laughs> See, I'm getting schooled on my social media, y'all, on my YouTube. This is, we're just taking a little, uh, Glam break. This is what I do like when I'm with my clients. Do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, back in the day, but I won't sit with who. I'm gonna start with some moisturizer. Okay, and, uh, back up a little bit so they can see. It's too far away. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs>